All right, I'm about to go on the attack, y'all. This is a word. All right, so yo, this is a little bit of a rant. First of all, I'm, I have to apologize because I didn't do a live stream today because I was having all kinds of technical difficulties and you know was on for about two minutes. I don't know if anybody caught that I was on for two minutes. Maybe it posted, I, I don't know, but I, I haven't been following. So I decided to, um, that I was gonna wait and do get some work done here at Altspace and then make this video that I'm gonna make now, which is gonna be kind of a rant. Um, just because, you know, some folks have been like picky and other stuff has been happening and there's this stuff, you know, and I, you know, I, I keep having to mention the name Dorian Ryder and um, I don't know, I, I guess feel like people, you know, want me to talk about Dorian Ryder, people want me to talk about stuff, but I'm like, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into that. I'm going to get into that. So um, what I ended up doing today was I actually got down in the basement. You guys know that finally um, we dealt with, you know, we did the flood mitigation in the basement. So, you know, it's been raining a lot and, you know, the, the floor of the basement is bone dry. So I've actually gone down to do some work that I had been intending on doing down there, getting a pantry and some tool storage set up. And it's going to be cool. And I'll show you some pictures of that when that gets done right now. So this morning I was doing a little bit of demo and I don't know I may have a little let me check a little dust anyway so I had my hard hat on and all that stuff so um yeah so uh that's what I did this morning and I was thinking about perhaps going out to Ann Arbor one of the cast members has a partner who's in a show out in Ann Arbor and then I just realized I just don't have the gas money for that I don't want to um it, it would just it would you know it would end up eating up like half a tank of gas for me to get out to Ann Arbor and get back and just getting to rehearsal every day has been you know eating up eating up my um, gas and uh, hopefully I'll get be doing a lot more alternative transportation after this show is over and I'm not having to go all the way out to Marygrove College every day for rehearsal so um, what do I want to talk to you guys about okay so um, you know, I made a video, uh, you know, talking about, you know, this connection that people seem to have with, you know, drama and the fact that not so many people seem interested in the positive things that I, that I do in my work and when I share that stuff. I shouldn't say not so many people because a lot of you are. I know a lot of you are and that's why you tune into the channel. But um, I've had some pretty harsh criticisms coming from people that I really respect. And so I don't want to say that I hear those things and I'm like annoyed by them. But I hear those things and I really want to give them the weight that I feel that they deserve. And um, one of those criticisms is the fact that I haven't, um, you know, really used what's been happening with Dorian Ryder um, as a way to talk about social justice issues, in particular talking about rape culture. And one of the things that I have to admit, I just don't know, I don't, I haven't, I haven't read a lot about rape culture. I mean, I'll put, the, I'll put it this way. I've read, you know, Maria Mies and I've read uh, Sylvia Frederici and um, I've done a fair amount of uh, reading, looking at the particular way that women have been persecuted in the name of um, industry, right? Uh, basically, you know, you had women at a certain point in our history playing a much greater role in the family and the maintenance of the family. And as we moved from being sort of rural people to being, you know, city people, um, and our work wasn't, um, you know, uh, about subsistence. It wasn't about like farming and growing food and making things and doing all the things that was necessary to take care of oneself and one's family. But it became about, you know, the job market and the job market was mostly men. And so women had to be, you know, pushed into the homes to do all of the work that made society run only they weren't being paid to do that work. So you had these two classes of people, you had a, a division, um, uh, you had a division uh, of power um, in terms of the ability to earn money and maintain oneself in a society that was running on, you know, capital and, and wages. And you had women kind of pushed out of that system in various ways, including burning them at the stake, right? We talked about, and I've talked about that in other, in other videos. So, 
Um, so this idea of rape culture, if we really want to get down and dirty and talk about rape culture, rape culture is, you know, is one of the necessities of having a system where, you know, women's labor is devalued. And so we have to devalue those beings. You have, you have to devalue people based on their their gender. And so, of course, that group that has been devalued can then become targeted. It's the same thing that happened to people of other races. It's what happened to black people with slavery. It's what happened to native, the indigenous people in the United States. Um, it's what happens to animals. So, right, we see that these patterns exist. So I'm not sure how um, talking about the behavior of someone like Durian Ryder is going to illuminate in any way for the general public or for vegans the fact that we live in a society where you know there's uh, there are dis there are disparities between um, the you know these two imagined genders like the male gender who is you know the powerful one the one who does the work the one who is the king of the castle and this other one who is the servant basically so you know i could talk a little bit about that but i don't think that really that's that's i don't think that that's um um i don't think there's a place for me to really talk about this because I don't know what's been going on. I don't know what's been happening in Chiang Mai with Dorian Ryder. I don't know Dorian Ryder and I don't know that much about his life. So anything that I've heard about him has come, you know, third, fourth person, right? Um, uh, there is, uh, you know, I think it, uh, Emily June uh, made a video recently talking about her, their personal experience with Dorian Ryder. And to me, that's a, you know, that's a video that someone, you know, make that video and talk about your personal experience and what you got from it and how it affected you. But for, you know, the rest of us to be running around and talking about what Dorian Ryder is doing, to me, isn't meaningful. And it's not to say that I don't want to make videos about other people. I do it all the time. In fact, I want to make videos about other people because I want to discuss ideas. I want to discuss other people's ideas. So either I'm talking about, you know, the other people whose works I've read. I'm talking about other people whose works I've seen. You know, the recent uh, uh, review of Okja was me talking about the work of another person, the work of other people, right? So it's not to say that we can't be critical. In fact, this whole channel is about being critical. It's about looking at um, ideas and critiquing them and really discussing them and trying to interrogate them and see what they and see and see where they might come from and how they might be either harmful or they might be beneficial to us as a society or tr in, in transforming our society which I believe is what a lot of people are trying to do regardless of where you fall on the political scale right there's uh, I, I think that there are very few people who are simply happy with the way things are even if they just want to get rid of the other people who are complaining about the way things are, right? So I think that there's certainly room for us to be critical. And so that's what I want to do is I want to be critical. And, um, and so uh, I believe it was H.M. Ross, who is one of the, you know, regular viewers on the channel who talked about, um, you know, the fact that it's useful to talk about other, other um content creators and that's how they found my channel and they brought up um, Unnatural Vegan. Well, if you remember when I talked about Unnatural Vegan, we were discussing ideas. We were having a disagreement about ideas and their understanding of a particular concept and my understanding of that particular concept. And so there was a little bit of a, you know, there was a, I would say it was more of a debate, right? It was more like who is, um, has a more accurate understanding of that particular wor word, right? Which is what it was. It was a little bit competitive and I don't know, maybe I comported myself well, or maybe I didn't. And maybe, uh, this, you know, Swayze comported um, themselves well, or maybe they didn't, but that's another matter because we weren't really here to talk about behavior. We were here to talk about, again, the ideas. The same is true with vegan gains. You know, uh, what I what I was attempting to do when I made my video, you know, vegan gains, worst of the worst. I think you all remember it's the most viewed video on my channel other than my video about the underground cave. Um, 
I was, you know, really trying to interrogate some ideas that vegan gains had. Not, I don't, you know, I wasn't trying to, you know, accuse vegan gains of some bad behavior. You didn't see me making videos about, you know, the wolf dog, or you don't see me making videos about the wedding, or when, you know, his wife calls him, you know, the N-word. You don't see me making videos about those things because that, that's, that's about behavior. That's like interpersonal stuff. That's very, um, it's, it's, you know, it's, it, 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 it borders on a personal attack. And do I condone the behavior? Yeah, maybe, no, maybe, but I don't understand enough about those individuals to talk about the particular actions that they take in their personal lives. But I can talk about, um, ideas that they've shared, information that those individuals have shared that I either agree with, agree with or disagree with, where I see um, flaws in their thinking. Um, there's a lot of talk about, you know, this whole logical fallacies thing. I think vegan gains, um, as far as I'm concerned, um, may be great at talking about veganism with non-vegans, but him having a discussion about anything else, to me, falls completely flat because he tends to get his information from um, very skewed uh, sources and where the, you know, the information like likely hasn't been vetted. Um, he's, he's sharing things from sources where, you know, the, he's only sharing half the information he's cherry picking. Um, he's quite insulting, right? You know, I've not been called, you know, what the word is retarded, right? Whatever that is. I don't even know if I want to consider it a re, uh, an insult because I'm not sure what he means when he uses the word retarded, but, um, to say the least it's offensive, but, um, it's not about the discussion of ideas. That's about all about personal attacks. And so once we get to that place, then, you know, I'm just, Hey, okay. Love you too. Welcome. Yay. Let's kiss. Let's kiss. Right. So this is all silly, right? Um, um, so, so just to be clear, I'm not interested in making videos about people's behavior. And I don't think I ever will be interested in making videos about people's behavior, specifically behavior that, um, it, it happens within the private realm, right? So something happens between two individuals, or it may happen between one individual and any number of other individuals, but every one of those individuals is in the position to be able to say, hey, this person did this thing and it was wrong, right? Um, and so when we're talking about Durian Ryder, for example, you know, everyone agrees that it's, 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 you know, it's bad to be a sexual predator. Everyone agrees that it's bad to be a sexual predator. For the most part, right? For the most part, right? But we don't necessarily agree what it means to be a sexual predator. So if we want to have a conversation about the nature of uh, sexual predation, whatever that means, right? I don't know. Um, d d if we want to have a conversation about that, that's meaningful. But to talk about, you know, you know, someone punches somebody else in the face. Oh, it's, it, well, we, th we say it's a bad thing, right? Or we might try to justify this person's behavior, but it becomes meaningless because it doesn't really get to the underlying ideas, what leads us to have the feelings that we f have about the world, what leads us to, you know, judge the behaviors of these individuals. And so we could be having a conversation about those things without really talking about you know, Dorian Ryder or vegan gains or unnatural vegan or the vegan cheetah, right? All of these people that, you know, have been, you know, accused at one time or, or another by me, even by me, even of not necessarily, um, having a very broad analysis of the world or being pretty ignorant, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just being ignorant. And, um, I think that that's, to me, that's a bigger problem. And so, you know, we go back and there, you know, last in, in back in the, in the winter, there was, you know, a vegan YouTuber who was engaging in some Holocaust denial, for, for example. And there were a few people who made some videos about that, but it died out very, very quickly. <laughs> it died out very, very quickly. So Holocaust denial is, you know, something that it's like, you know, a few people 
you know, make videos about it, but oh, it's not really that bad. Oh, the person really didn't intend to be a Holocaust denier, even though it's exactly what they did and it's ex exactly what they were, were doing, engaging in, right? Um, and in, in engaging in anti-Semitic rhetoric, right? So we can have that happen and that blows over, goes away, but, you know, the behavior of, you know, someone like Durian Ryder, um, that stays at the forefront and becomes an example of, you know, why, you know, rape culture is what it is, right? So there are these two things and the scale, um, in, in terms of the scale of the damage that can be done, um, they could be about equal, but one clearly falls by the wayside and the other one, you know, we, we seem to be harping on. And I, it seems to me that the what we're harping on isn't so much that, you know, what was being done was sexist, what was being done is re reinforcing, you know, patriarchy in the world, but it was because Dorian Ryder did it and we want to like, you know, push on that button. So, yeah, I'm not sure. So recently, um, you know, again, we talk about, I talked about vegan gains and vegan gains making clearly Islamophobic remarks on his website and making a number of videos against, you know, you know talking about the evils of Islam. Um, it's, you know, very clear once you do some research that what he is talking about in his video is a very, very limited idea of what Islam represents to a very, very limited group of of Muslims in the world. You know, we would we would say most Muslims are not, you know, terrorists. Most Muslims are not, most Muslims are not terrorists. Most Muslims aren't, you know, um, you know being, having their terror plots foiled, right? Muslims is, you know, people who, you know, follow Islam are not the only terrorist in the world, right? And so to have that individual say these things and have it at all supported, you know, having the things that he said against Black Lives Matter, right? Have the, to have these things, you know, just shrugged off, you know, and we're back to loving vegan gains because man, is he a good debater when it comes to veganism. But, you know, yet, you know, we want to jump all over Harley because of some things that may or may not have happened. And I have to say may or may not have happened because I've not had a single conversation with anyone who has been involved in these, you know, these occurrences. So let's just keep some perspective with that, right? And let's not try to, you know, again, I've said this before, I'm not an attack dog, right? So let's not get into a thing where we want to see me or any of our other, um, you know, YouTubers that we follow and that we respect engaging in, you know, bashing of a particular individual for actions that they've made. I think what we want is an ongoing, you know, dialogue about issues that are meaningful and trying to come to an understanding of what the world is that we want to see and how do we get there? What are the actions that need to be taken in order to get us there? So that's just a little bit, that's a little bit of what was, is on my mind. I wish I had been able to engage in with all of you on a live stream today, um, but didn't happen. I really want to know what your thoughts are on this. Um, am I being unreasonable? Am I doubling down in my refusal to go in on on Dorian Ryder about his, you know, activities in Chiang Mai? Um, yeah, so there won't be a live stream next week. My show runs. It's just one weekend. So if you're in Detroit, uh, check out Shakespeare in Detroit. I keep saying I'm going to post info in the description box. I'll try to remember that today. Um, the show is completely free. There's two show, There's a show on Friday, uh, Saturday, and a Sunday matinee. So uh, if you're hanging around in Detroit, you can just walk over to New Center Park and go and see Hamlet for free. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself.